So welcome back to our, our next lesson. Again, we're working with comparing and ordering rational numbers. Uh, we're on, I think, the third lesson, so we'll call this lesson 1C. Okay, as we talked about, rational numbers are any numbers that can be expressed as fractions. And so remember, um, since decimals can be expressed as fractions, we can also work with decimals in this case. So this example, again, we're going to work with decimals, but again, decimals are examples of rational numbers. So we're going to compare decimals. We're going to use these three symbols, less than, greater than, equal to. So is less than, is greater than, is equal to is the more formal way of saying it. A lot of us just simply say less than, greater than, or equal to. But that verb is kind of important when you do math sentences. So let's look at um, comparing negative 1.2 to 0 0.8. One of the best strategies you can use in comparing numbers, especially with decimals, is just put them on a number line. So negative 1.2 and 0 0.8. Since these go out to the tenths place, it's not too hard to make a scale that counts by tenths. And since I'm kind of moving around 0, I went on included 0 here, so there would be a 0.1, or 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths would be located at this spot right here. So that's 0 0.8. Negative 1.2, or negative 1 and 2 tenths. So there's negative 1 and 2 tenths would be over here at this spot. So again, we were counting by tenths. So each one of these little tick marks is counting by tenths. So 0.1, or negative 0.1, negative 0.2, negative 0.3, negative 0.4, negative 0.5, or negative 5 tenths, negative 0 0.6, negative 0 0.7, negative 0 0.8, negative 0 0.9, and there's negative 1. And so there's our negative 1.2. Now, if we're comparing these, it's pretty clear that if you're to the right of 0, you're a positive number. And if you're left of 0, you're actually a negative number. And we know through our experiences that positive values have more value than negative values, just like your income. If you have a positive income, a paycheck, if you will, or income coming in, that's worth more value than debt, which is a lot of times represented by a negative number. So positive numbers are clearly greater than negative numbers. So we use a less than symbol. And remember, it's like a little alligator mouth as well. It always kind of eats the uh, bigger value. But it's actually negative 1.2 is less than 0 0.8. That would be actually our example. So our next example, negative 2.4, 0. And we're going to create negative 2.45. Again, that's negative 2 and 40, 40 hundredths. I want to compare that to two, negative 2 and 45 hundredths. So a lot of times I can just ignore the decimal to start with and just think of this as 240 and 245. So when I make my number line, I can kind of come down here and think negative 240 or negative 2.40, and I can kind of work my way to negative 2.45. And I'm counting by hundreds again. So negative 2.40, this is negative 2.41. So these tick marks are actually counting by hundreds places. So this is like a, a hundredth. So 2 and 2 and 40 hundredths, 2 and 41 hundredths. 2 and 42 hundredths, 2 and 43 hundredths, 2 and 44 hundredths, and 2 and, uh, negative 2 and 45 hundredths. So negative 2 and 45 hundredths is there, and of course, negative 2 and 40 hundredths is there. So notice that these are both on the negative side of the number line. And what we learned is, the more left you are, the less value you have. The more right you are, the more value you have. So in this case, since negative 2.40 is to the right, it's our bigger value. So this would be then a greater than symbol. So negative 2.40 is greater than negative 2.45. Or again, negative 2 and 40 hundredths is greater than negative 2 and 45 hundredths. Let's look at example 3 here. So negative 3.1, I know it's that since it's a positive number, I know it's a little bit past a 3. Negative 3.7, I know it's a little over halfway over here. It's probably closer to negative 4. So I don't have to have a real detailed number line, especially when I'm comparing positive numbers to negative numbers. It's pretty clear that a positive number will always be bigger than a negative value. So that 3.1, since it's over here, is much larger than a negative 3.7, which is over here. So this is going to again be a greater than symbol. So that's going to be 3 and 1 tenths is greater than negative 3 and 7 tenths. 
Now if I'm comparing negative 4.5 to negative 4.49, it's a good idea to make them go out to the same decimal place. So it's a good idea, since this goes out to the hundredths place, go ahead and add a trailing zero here and go ahead and change it to negative point negative four point five zero or negative four and fifty hundredths. These are still equivalent because you haven't changed the place values. The negative four is still in the ones place, the five is still in the tenths place, and again there's nothing there, so no hundredths place. So that, those are what we call equivalent decimals. So negative four point four five or negative four point five zero, that would be located here. And negative four point four nine, that's going to be located here. So I had negative 4.50 and I had negative 4.49. And remember when we're comparing decimals, especially negative numbers, the one to the right is always the larger value. So that actually tells me that this negative 4.49 is to the right, so it's actually the greater than one. So actually we write down then negative 4.5 is less than negative 4.49. Or in other words, negative 4 and 5 tenths is less than uh, negative 4 and 49 hundredths. So again, a number line can be a really easy tool to compare decimal numbers. So take advantage of that.